Hey, it's me, Jivian. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play <gasps> Dragon Age Origins. In the last episode, we're going through the fade, and my god. My god. Mother of god. It's difficult. Um, yeah, basically because we're by ourselves and we're switching through all these different types of people and whatever. If you're enjoying the series, remember leaving likes, leaving comments, subscribe with the bell turned on. All helps out this channel and series to grow. Thank you to those who do that. And if you want to go the extra mile, check out the Patreon and the Twitch links in the description below. Thank you to those who interact with any of that stuff. Let's do it. The door would require a massive force to break. Well, guess what? Hiya! Okay, I guarantee there's going to be people in there. Yep. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. Look at my HP. Get up! Jeez oh, Louise. All right. Uh, if we can cast this, maybe it might work. I need to, like, cast this over here. Go. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, turn back into you. Drink one of these. Can I get you a ladder? So oh, you that instantly killed back. them? Wow. Okay. Is this even worth exploring? Yeah, these ethereal gates things. We definitely need, like, a, to be a specter for those or something. What do we have in here? Ooh, who is this? Slave? What is your name? Slaverin? Okay, let's try doing that. Don't need to move because we have the, uh... Have the coup de grace ability. Do a weapon sweep misses. Health is not looking good. We're completely out of health potions now. Okay, down goes Slaverin. I don't know who that is. Oh, that's probably one of the demons that we had to kill. Yeah, we're doing all of this one by one, and now we have no potions at all, right? Not even lesser. Yeah, we just have injury kits. Okay, this is going to be incredibly difficult from here on out. Uh, I'm assuming we have to kill one of those demons in order... Or we have to kill those demons in order to weaken the whatever, right? So, let's see. If we interact with the Fade Pedestal, where are we? Uh, we can go to a Nightmare. We can go to the Inner Sanctum. We can go to a Nightmare. I guess we can't. Okay, let's still stay here. Okay, uh, this is gonna be incredibly difficult now without any potions whatsoever. Uh, we need to find my freaking... We need to find our freaking friends. But let's fully explore this labyrinth, I suppose, in the meantime. And just see if we can... Okay, who do we have here? Golems are weak to magic. Let's remember that, so let's do that. And we should be able to just DPS him down with our fire and our flames, and then we'll be able to carry on. I already made that joke. I don't like how when they stun you like that, you stop attacking. You should still get up and, like, run after them and still keep attacking, I feel like. Bye-bye. Thanks for playing. You are the weakest link. Okay, let's uh, make it. We're gonna be. We're gonna have to save after like every single thing now, since we have no potions, and they're also not giving me any potions either. So there's another font of strength, which it looks like we can interact with, which is weird. Okay, let's get behind the wall, even though it's not gonna matter. They'll still be able to hit me through the wall, which is kind of ridiculous. But hey, uh, this guy's about to throw this stone at me, and if I don't resist the check, then I fall. Oh my god. Okay, I need to get out of here, and I need to be able to cast fireball. Like, right about there so I don't hit myself. Okay, we got him, thankfully. Don't deal nearly, nearly enough damage. So we're going to run this way. Wait for Fireball to come back up. See if we can launch it out. See? Nice. But we're almost dead here. And we hit ourselves, too, which is unfortunate. Uh, are there any lyrium potions? We need to get behind the wall in order to make this work. Let's get behind one more wall, because we are faster than these guys. Okay, and then pause, and then do one of these. Okay, <laughs> maybe this will work. I don't know. They are on fire. Oh, those are going to go through the wall and kill me. So cheap! <sighs> Your journey ends. Yeah, well, it's almost like I don't have... <laughs> you know? It's almost like I don't have uh, any options whatsoever. Okay, let's open that and then just chuck some fireballs through here. Okay. This might do the trick. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of when, like, things can, like, hit you... 
Like, the fact that he can, like, queue up a stone thing and throw it through walls and auto-track you. But I guess, you know, we can do the same thing, so it's kind of fair, I suppose. Okay, let's go. Let's DPS this guy down. Okay, this guy's close to dying here. Come on. Come on. Gotcha. Come on, attack! Attack! I don't know what happened to my fireball there. Okay, we're gonna hope that we have enough DPS to down the stone golem. Come on, one more. And then I switch targets. Yo, kill this guy. Kill that guy. What are you even doing? Thank you. Jeez Louise. I don't even know. Like, I, I guess all of these are just giving you, like, yeah, bonus upgrades, huh? Okay, we got the School of Entropy. Okay, and we've got the Font of Strength. So we have confirmed you can indeed get bo multiple bonuses. Yeah, because that other one. That other one must only be interactable as a ghost, maybe, or it's just glitched. I don't really know. Okay, moving right along. Let's see. I think we. This just goes back to a door that we've already been to, right? Just want to make absolutely sure. Yeah, and then I think the only thing we missed back there was just another font or another thing that lets us teleport around. So then that means the only thing that we haven't done is through that door right there. Save the game. Fireball is obviously extremely powerful here. Okay. Hello. Give you one of these. Okay, let's try to cut this guy down to size. Deal very good DPS. And if these mages come through the door, we'll try to fireball them again. Okay, fireball. All right, she's on fire. Hopefully she dies. This person back here hopefully dies as well. Looks like it. Excellent. Okay. Now, what do we have in here? We have the School of Creation. Just a little bit of XP each time. I feel like you should honestly get more XP than you get in Dragon Age Origins. Feels like you don't really get all that much. You have to complete quests level up, which I know is like a thing in video games in general. You don't really get all that much combat experience, but it, do it does feel like you should get a little more combat experience than you do, at least to me. Uh, okay, so now we can go through. We killed one demon here. Yeah, see, one of these thing doors, one, one of the one of the fonts, or one of the, yeah, like the font of strength, or whatever the heck they're called, did look like that. So I'm assuming we can't interact with it if we go back to it. Anyways, save the game here. I need to have more fun with this playthrough at the moment. I'm definitely frustrated. Like, definitely frustrated to a level. Uh, can we go to the nightmare? No. So I wonder, why is a line there, but not a line there? I don't know. Either way, let's go to the Templar's Nightmare. Let's head over that away, And then we still need that final power. What are we having here? Let's see. We've got a Fade Pedestal. We've got a Fade Portal. We've got a Mouse Hole. We've got a book. Where is this book? New Codex, the Rite of Annulment. And then we've got a door over here. What is past this door? Probably a whole lot of stuff happening over there. Okay, let's use the Mouse Hole first. Into the Mouse Hole! Trap triggered resisted. What is going on in here? Okay, uh, let's turn into you. And then let us launch a fireball. Is this the only thing? Wow, this thing is just killing me and I can't even... Okay. That's super cool. That's super duper cool. I love literally being able to not do anything at all. That's like, what do you even... And we have a crash. Okay, I think I kind of see why people don't like the fade portion of this game now. It's basically because you're stuck being alone for so long, and you have to go through so much stuff, and then once you run out of potions, inevitably, your options just dwindle. So yeah, I don't know. It, it feels just uh, very difficult, obviously. Um, okay. Let's try that again. I think we can get this done. Just have to immediately cast Fireball. Okay, two, and then fireball. Resisted? Jeez Louise. 
Ooh! Oh, these guys are super weak. Okay, that works. All right, so let's see. Where the heck are we now? Another mouse hole there. I think we'll just keep following the mouse holes, honestly. Uh, can I press, like, three to turn into... What is this? How do I turn into a different form, I wonder? Oh, my God! Okay, let's try this again. Can we just out DPS him, I wonder? Yeah, we're dealing pretty good damage. A hunger abomination. Okay, go for this guy. Come on. Are you really just, like, chain knocking me down? Can I please do anything? It's so frustrating. Thank you. The amount of stuns. Okay. Uh, sorry to keep complaining about it. It's just like being perma-stunned is not fun. It's it's really, really, really not. Okay, mouse hole, mouse hole. Let's see. We came in from that mouse hole. We got some fade portals. I have no idea. This one is super duper duper like labyrinthine. Uh, okay, what do we have in here? I should have saved. I definitely should have saved. Our damage is really good though with this fire guy. For both melee and for... Um, yeah, for both melee and for... Uh, Magic spells. Okay, let's save it again. Alright, I am going to make a goal to not complain anymore. It is frustrating. It is indeed frustrating. Okay, so we're immune to fire damage, so that is good to do. Good. And there's another one of these spectral gate sort of things. Okay, the door would require massive force. If only we had a golem for it. Hi. Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what we're doing. We got a fade portal here. Where does this take us? Lyrium vein, fade portal, mouse hole. That's where we we came in from. We used that mouse hole first, right? Okay, this looks good. Mouse hole, books, mouse hole. Hello? We got another mouse hole. We got another mouse hole. I have no idea. There's so many mouse holes. <sighs> I think we're just going to end up missing some... We're going to end up missing some... Permanent upgrades. Okay, I think they're going to burn. Excellent. Okay, let's get away from these guys. I think they explode. Alright, we got a book here. New Codex, Maleficarum. We got more mouse holes. Fade portal, fade portal, book, mouse hole. Like, I'm just looking for... Because I'm assuming these mouse holes just go from room to room. And I'm assuming they're not leading into, like, a secret font of strength sort of thing or something. I don't know. I think we're just trying to find one... Like, we're trying to find... I don't know what we're trying to find, to be honest. We didn't look at this book, though. Okay, new codex, the right of annulment. Yes, we did. Codex, the hit... Didn't we... Oh, maybe I didn't... Maybe I forgot to, like, click that again. All right, I have no idea what the point of this particular area is... Mouse hole, mouse hole, mouse hole, mouse I guess we'll just try every... Like, is this one... Let's press M. Is this one particular room? I guess we need to go there, huh? We've been all over here. Mouse hole, mouse hole, mouse hole. Yeah, I think we're trying to get down here to the bottom... Bottom right, but I don't know how to do that. Let's uh, just check all the mouse holes, I suppose. Okay, we'll check this one first. Into the mouse hole! And then I'm assuming we want a stealth, right? The only ability the mouse has is stealth. The rogue has learned to fade from view, although perceptive enemies may not be fooled. Taking any action beyond movement, including engaging combat or using items, will still attract attention. If the rogue initiates combat, will still stealth. The first strike is an automatic crit critical hit or backstab. So where are we now? We're on the other segment. Yeah, we're looking for, I think, the right mouse hole that leads into the uh, third area, I think. So maybe it's this one, since it's past fire, but I feel like we did this one already. And it automatically does stealth for some reason, too, sometimes. Uh, we're trying to get down here to the bottom. We might need to be the ghost, or whatever it is, in order to activate that door, maybe. And I don't know what these fade portals do, either. We just went into that one, right? So let's use the fade portal. Oh, does this just go back? Okay, so we're here. Does this just go back over here? No. Now we're on the other side, oddly enough. And there's yet another mouse portal. And then another fade... Another mouse hole and another fade portal. 
Okay, so yeah, it's got to be like one of these mouse holes that does the trick. Now the question is, which one? Fade pedestal mouse hole. Uh, I guess I'll try this one, and then I, I guess I'll just move around until I figure it out. It's just going to be confusing as heck, like which ones we have and have not interacted with. Here, where am I now? Over here. Let's try this one. The mouse hole! And now we're down here. Okay. Let's just try one more, like, through this area here. Fade portal. There's the fire one that we already did, right? Yeah, we already went through the fire. So maybe this one back here? Maybe this is the correct one. I'm just wondering if you genuinely need to, like, use that that door there. Okay. Yeah. Let's go back to the Burning Man form and let's, um... Let's see, where is a... Do we have a... Uh, what's it called? A... Uh, 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 there's so many different terms and stuff to use. Do we have a font... What the heck is it called? What we need to find is... Oh, there's two in here, though. What we need to find is the fade pedestal, is what I'm talking about. Yes, okay. Let's get out of here for now. I feel like we need to use the ghost guy, or whatever the final form is. So let's go over here to the dark spawn invasion. The last one we haven't interacted with yet. At least, hopefully, that'll keep all that, uh, all those enemies dead in the other area. Okay, where the heck are we now? Another mouse hole. And another door. Let's use the mouse holes first. That seems to be being fortuitous for us. I'm not even pressing stealth. I don't know why that's happening. Okay, turn back into you. And I should save the game, but I'm just going to keep... Oh, boy. It's another mouse hole labyrinth. Essence of cunning. Okay, we've got a cunning one to get here. And it looks like it's right there. Excellent. Is that literally free? The essence of cunning. Permanent one plus one increase to cunning. Yeah, you get quite a lot of, like, bonus little level ups from these. Okay. And then we didn't go into this one, which I'm going to save before we interact with. Let's also press stealth. Okay, exit, save game. I know we can make uh, quick saves and all that, by the way. I'm aware. Okay, and then what do we have going on in here? Oh, my God! Do these guys not... Are these guys immune to fire? They are indeed immune to fire. But I think our DPS is better with this guy anyways. Yeah. Our DPS is definitely better. Uh, didn't we also have a door? It's just insane trying to keep track of all these different areas. Okay, where the heck are we now? We're in another labyrinth? I'm assuming this will just get us another one of these... What the heck is that? Herlocks? Excellent. Oh my god. Not good. Not good at all. Uh, can I interact with this Lyrium Vein in the midst of combat? Perfect. Okay. These guys are not even burning, so if they walk into this, they're going to die, right? Okay, let's put a fireball right there. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Okay, let's do this. Oh, we have no more magic. What is happening? I'm just, like, stunned. What is going on? Jeez. Okay, let's do this. Okay, kill this guy. Good. Oh my god, this is so difficult. Alright, M, where the heck are we? Oh man, oh man. Okay. Um, yeah, let's let's fully clean out this labyrinth. Let's fully clean out this labyrinth. I'm gonna just hold to the right. I definitely need to save here. Yes. Save, save, save. Save, save, save. Do, 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 do. Save, save, save. Save your booty. Do, 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 do. Save your booty. E. Okay, dead end there. That's fine with me. Health is slowly regenerating. Yeah, I guess if you hold to the right, you always find the dead ends, right? You always you always uh, get to the get to where you're trying to go. There's a lyrium vein back there that's recharged. We can interact with... Oh, I guess that's what they do to give you... That's what they do to give you, like, regenerative health. Man, 
Flame Blast is so weak, it feels like. Okay, another dead end here, but at least we're getting some experience. Where are my companions, by the way? Dead end there. Probably gonna have another boss fight. Another demon fight that'll weaken the, uh... Weaken the thing. Looks like he's through there, because this looks like a little bit of a dead end. Okay, we're gonna save. Do, 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 do. This door would require massive force. hi -ya. Yeah, golem form feels really weak. So I'm not using that all that much. Font of strength. Hell yeah. Okay, perfect. And then I'm betting there's a demon through here. One of the demons that weakens the link. Is there? We've got another fade pedestal, but why? I don't want to get out of here. I want to find where I need to go. We do have a mouse hole, thankfully, though. Okay. Are we just back to where we were? Wait, was that just the start? We start here, and then we go there, and then, we, okay, and then one of these, like, takes us way up here. Yeah, that mouse hole takes us there. Okay, I think we missed one door, though, didn't we? We definitely have to do something here, right? That takes us to the font of whatever. Let's see where this takes us. Yeah, we missed a door, I think. Right, did we miss this one? Yes, I think we did. Wait, where are we? Yeah, we never went straight ahead. Okay, good. Hello! Okay, yeah, our DPS on our just dual weapons is super good. Definitely want to make use of that. Come on. Come on. When they actually land. I don't even know if this is really worth using. Flame Blast, I'll read this after this, though, to see. The caster's hands are up with a cone of flame, inflicting fire damage on all targets in the area for a short time. Friendly fire possible. Eh. I don't think it's all that all that worth. Okay, mouse hole on the left there. We got another flame and door over there. So I think we can see where the mouse holes lead, actually, if we press M. Yeah, it looks like that's a small enough place. Okay, what do we got? We're back here again? Oh, crap. I'm thinking I'm this guy. Okay. Let's do a fireball here. Do a flame thing there. Kill this guy. Nice. Go for this guy. Get him. Get him. Get him. Stop missing and get him. There we go. Okay, another mouse hole there. I'm assuming there's something of worth in here, right? Man, must suck being these dark spawn, being some random place that you don't even know where you are. Oh, safe. Interesting. Okay, what do we have through here? Yes. yes. Must be quiet. They won't find me yet. They won't find me yet. You. Okay, I didn't save because it already gave me a save. So I think friendly fire is possible with fireball, but we're going to go for it anyways because this is too powerful to not use. Hiya! Okay, let's go for this guy first. And then this guy. Land your attacks, my dude! Excellent. Should backstab him here. They're gone. You, you did it. You killed them. But not all. Their leaders are behind the unbreakable door. I give you my wisdom. It will let you see. And now I wake. Sounds good, man. Shape-shifting spirit form. The spirit form is attuned to all things unseen. It allows you to interact with ethereal objects that would normally be hidden from you. Sounds good. Okay, now, where the heck are we? We got a mouse hole there, which we probably came in from. We got a door there. We got a font pedestal. What is this thing called? A fade pedestal. And then this thing. Yeah, okay, so this thing. So we turn into the wraith form, the spirit form. 
which we have a bunch of different abilities here. Regeneration, the caster infuses an ally with beneficial energy, greatly accelerating health regen for a short, short time. The caster encloses the target in a collapsing cage of telekinetic force, increasing spirit damage, inflicting spirit damage for the duration, and possibly shattering those that have been petrified or frozen solid. Winter's Grass, the caster, envelops the target in frost, freezing lower level target solid. Those that resist suffer a penalty to movement speed. So basically the goal is freeze them and then trap them, and then you might be able to do something. Permanent plus one increase to willpower. Okay. So yeah, I was right. You do have to interact with those. All right, all right. Whee! You do have to interact with uh, those as a ghost. What in the world is this? Okay. Um, you. Then you. All right, all right. Then you. Then you. Then you. Okay. Woo! All right, we came in from that mouse hole, right? There's, this place is so Farigin massive. I think we're still in combat, actually, because there's still enemies back. Oh, my lord. Let's see, to try to get as many as we can with this fireball. Didn't realize I was going to go that far. Okay, this is actually pretty scary. Come on. Come on. Oh, this fireball is going to be huge. Okay, we're going to let him burn. Flame blast was a mistake, as it always is. Come on, get up! No! Oh, why did I not save after... I don't know why I'm not saving. It's frustrating me more than the viewer, I'm sure. Where the heck are we? Oh, my lord. Okay, I'll see you all once I catch back up. I don't know why I'm not saving. I'm getting so cocky. Okay, I've tried this room many times. This room sucks. There's like 100,000 dark spawn in here, but with fireball, anything is possible. So we're going to rush back in and aggro all these dudes at once. I've already killed like three here, and then we're going to try to fireball all of them. Uh, so this guy's immune to fire, so you can kind of knock them all down, but it'd be nice to kind of do one of these and not actually hit ourselves. Like so. Very nice. And then we're going to do one of these. Which takes entirely too long. And then if we get knocked down, that's the really bad thing. Come on, run, 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 run. Okay, then we're going to do one of these. We're just going to hit ourselves so we make sure to hit everybody. Because there's going to be a lot of death here. Oh, and we resisted it. Nice. Okay, we should be able to make this happen here. Let's line up the flame burst. The flame blast. This really does not do much at all. Okay. Come on, man. Land the attacks. Oh, my God. Oh, this fade section is so difficult. It's frustrating as hell, man. Ugh. Okay, we just need to basically constantly throw out fireballs over and over and over again. Which I guess uses stamina, oddly enough. But we want to aggro all of them. That one big boy, is it you? Yeah, the emissary. Okay. Two, fireball. And if we resist, that's amazing. Let me just fireball over and over and over and over again. And fireball. Please resist it. Did you really knock me down the moment I was about to cast it? How is this fair? Like, I ask you. I ask you, how is this fair on any level? This is so ridiculous. The only thing that I can think of is that if you need to have, like, your party members and you can somehow get your party members before this. That's the only thing that I could possibly think. It's so, like, ridiculously overpowered. We're going to launch a fireball there, though. We're going to run way back here. Wait for fireball to come back up. This should be, this should be what we need to do. 
Excellent. There we go. Okay, that was a lot better. Now let's see, how many more do we have? We still got this guy and like a few others. We're gonna target him with a fireball. Yeah, this is a strong boy. Strong, strong, strong boy. Okay, we need to kill his little two ads, and then we can probably beat him in a one-on-one -on -one fight. That guy really stayed back and then buffed so that we didn't even hit the other two. Okay. Bye-bye. Excellent. Kill this guy first. And then this guy. Should be able to beat this guy in a one-on-one -on -one fight, I think. All depends on how many times we miss, though, of course. If we miss a lot, we're dead. Just watching my HP. Now, if he gets back up, does he immediately start attacking? Get The chain stuns! The chain stuns, man, are just so ridiculous. Come on. Come on. Come on. Unbelievable how difficult that is, man. Unfrigging believable. Oh, but we made it through. Oh my gosh. Okay, where does this go again? Does this just go back into the labyrinth we've already been in? Saving the game again. Okay, where are we, by the way? Looking down. Yeah, this should just lead back to where we've already been, but let me make sure. Yeah, these guys should be no problem. It'd be great if we had some sort of, like, stun that we could activate on these guys. Okay, why do I care about this room? Mouse hole and a lyrium vein? But we've already been in here, right? Yeah, we've definitely already been in here. This just links back up. Okay. That should be everybody killed up until this point. I think we're trying to find one more demon here. Thank you so much for watching. This fade section has been incredibly frustrating. Hopefully you at least understand why I'm feeling those emotions at least a little bit. But nevertheless, thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this series, remember leaving comments, leaving likes, subscribe with the bell turned on. All helps out this channel and series to grow. And check out the Patreon and the Twitch links in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <gasps>